Hello friends! The day has come at last when we can show you our Jivagen Brabus 6x6, which has been built according to original. For to access all three of them are locked and all of them are leading. Both are like the original ones. Archic Sand is the body, please appreciate them. So we can go around the city boldly, because we have legalized all the equipment completely. But I will tell you about it a little later. I will tell the new subscribers what kind of car it is. This is Jivagen 2001 capacity 5.0. From the beginning it was black. We have painted it into yellow lemon. We have chosen this color because the plant Mercedes paints its cars 4x4 in square. We like this color very much and we have colored our Jivagen so. We have made the extended so patch of carbon is similar to the original cars. The only thing is that we have work is not similar to the original. It's Mansory style. It's called English square. I like it. It's our car. All my wish came true here. I want to tell what the most precious thing is in this project. Of course, it is Portal Exos, which have been installed to our G-Wagon. There is a gear on all of three Portal Exos. Everything is like on the plant's car. We have taken Exos, which already have gear boxes. From special equipment and the drive units from the middle to the back axle, it works wonderfully. We have changed the main gears, so that the gyration is like the original car. 5.0. It runs along the road with small turnovers. Everything is okay. So the discs are like the original car. It's also very expensive. The rubber is like at the original car. Mid seven wheels, discs and rubber cost ten thousand dollars. Let me show you what the Porto Exo is. Here are the Exos which we installed on our G-Wagon. So what's the difference of our Exo from the Mercedes one? Here's the board gearbox, which lifts the wall axle on 14 cm from the land. In the principle, it's like at the original car. The original is 1 cm higher. The wall car is lifted on 14 cm higher due to this board gearbox. And we can install big wheels already. Moreover, the advantage of our axle is that transmission from the middle axle occurs to the back one. Here is the gearbox with transmit rotation like at the plant's car. From the middle to the back axle through the cardan. It has been made professionally. Everything is made up at the plant perfectly. And there are tough plant blockings on all of three axles. Here is the small plate, which is switched on with vacuum. And a great advantage of those axles is that they are 16 cm border than Mercedes ones. It helped us a lot during formalizing documents. And some words about the back part of our body. The wall back of the body is absolutely removable. It's the same as at the original. Back door. We have copied details from the original car. The back handle is the original 6x6. Hinges are the original. The small locks are also original. The only thing we added here is that we installed a special shock absorber. So that the back door lowers slowly and doesn't fall down. We have sheeted the back of the body with special bot, which is not afraid of nothing the sun, snow, water. And now pause the video and write down your comment by all means. The first impression of our G-Wagon, do you like it or not, if not, why? And now I will tell you about the technical part, namely 5.0 engine. Does it pull this car or not? The six wheels monster with big wheels. On my opinion, it lacks capacity of the engine. 
Generally, all this is regulated with the main gears. I know I have 5.0, they are speedier gears. In principle, I go around the city without any problem. I have good turnovers. But if you have little dynamics, simply install 5.9 gears and your car will be much easier. It accelerates quickly. By this you unload the engine. But where the turnovers are more along the road. Now I propose you to go and watch yourselves what speed we have on the road. <laughs> So we are going along the road, we have uh, 2200 turnovers, the speed is 100 km per hour, the cursor shows uh, 103 km per hour, approximately so. Cruise control is on now, there is no mistakes on the dashboard. Neither with ABS, not ESP, there are no problem, the speedometer and tachometer works well. It's 5.0, work. And some words about noise of the car during driving. Now the speed is 17 km per hour. I have chosen such speed in 10 only. On my opinion, there is some noise. But it's created by rubber because the rubber here is rather aggressive. Boards and we have six wheels, not four ones. Don't forget three axles. Of course, noise is more than two wheel car. Why did I choose 17 km per hour? I found the video which was done by one blogger from Europe. He tested Jwagen 6x6 in the countryside with the speed 17 km per hour. You will see it now, there is a little noise. And now you will hear how our car makes noise. I don't hear some noise on transmission, such as the noise of gearbox. Or something like that. You can hear it yourselves, the microphone works well. There is nothing that is alarming. If you doubt, come and you will see. You may test the car and become our client. So is there a reason you are in two 6x6s? You know, they're, they're very hard to get in the US. Um, back home where you guys live, it's a lot easier to get them and it's because they made them for Europe and Dubai. The next thing is the brakes. It's also important in this project. We used the original ones from G500 completely. The front supports and the four back supports are original. It was a little bit upset when I left the garage to tell the truth, because the brakes were not so good. I got scared very much. In 5.5 compressor in the newer GW there are more tubes with ABS. Two tubes back on the left and right support. There was only one tube. We have done everything well, that was great. But the brakes weren't good. Then I realized that this was our mistake. All the brakes discs were new, but the boots were old. Their wear out was minimal, but it took place. The old boots were attached to the disc. I have noticed that on the new brake discs the boots work 50 to 60 percent. They haven't got their hands on them yet. The brakes were not good. Now the brakes here are wonderful. If you start the car urgently, the wheels will go skid. I have already done it, the front wheels can go skid on the asphalt. It signifies something.
Now we have the most important question. I think, what is the system ABS like? Because it's important for the car. Besides, the car can't get along without ABS if it's new. Because we couldn't do it early, so that the speedometer doesn't work. And the more modern gearbox screws up in the case of an accident. We have solved this problem. We have done everything in the principle, you may see there is no mistakes on the panel. The speedometer works well. We checked with GPS, the difference is 2 km, it's a trifle. We checked on BMW 2, there is always difference 2-3 km on different cars. You know, we were forced because on the newer GW there is always a problem with the gearbox. We have done everything, all is good. Blockings. All of blockings on all axles are plugged in. All of them work at the plant buttons. And there is no problem with center differential. I will stop somewhere now and show how it works. Center differential is plugged in. Everything is like before. Natural or low, we're going position. Already on lower ones. You feel it at once. Again on natural position and higher. Let's go. Blockings. The plant center blocking. We should drive a little so the differential works. On the panel ABS there is exclamation mark. It's plugged in. The back plant's blocking is plugged on at once two axles. And the front one. When you start, they snap into place at once. You may see it's difficult to hold the rubber. You can see how it is twisted off. All works well. We have plugged off the central one. A little back or forward, when it's unblocked, everything goes down. Let's continue. Now let's see how to drive the car. How is the car driving? It's also an important question. We always make some experiments. We make it more or less, because if a caster is too big, the rubber will be damaged. Dodge also have a big caster because the wheels are too big. The rubber is spoiled because the wheel is being to the sides. Here we put a little less, but it's one to one as the original GW 4x4, 6x6. We found such information and done the same. I am satisfied. We go 17 km per hour along the road, I am holding the rudder. You shouldn't move it and catch the car. But through we had some problems with the first GW. I think we'll correct everything, we'll finish our experiment soon. You can see me on the road. I twist the rudder to the left. It returns on its usual place. If there is no caster, you will see if when the bus passes. You may see it returns on its place. Car finds the straight road itself, in order to go straight. But it's too good. Of course, you may feel some hints in the city because the road is very bad. Now it's a little better, because it has been repaired. Earlier the town had very bad roads. You could feel some not very adequate hints, of course. You may feel them on portal axles. On all prepared cars with portal axles. It's not so perceptible. You may feel something uh, on some parts on the road. In the principle, I'm satisfied with everything. Smoothness of moving. It's special sync of GW 6x6, of course. It became softer than usual GW. It's exactly so. I think heavy suspension mass has influenced it on it. It's heavier than the originals. The front spring is harder than the original sprint. The back spring are softer, because there are four of them. The profile of rubber is higher. For example, if you get into a pit with the back axle, the car should be jumping like a truck because of two axles. But this car is ok, on the contrary. The back of the body. When you catch the pit, any pit, one wheel is in it, another wheel is on the asphalt. 
and the car isn't stirring, it keeps the car straight. There is no problem when you go through rails. The front of the body works a little harder from the back of it. But it's softer than the original 4x4, 6x6, it's Plant one. It's softer exactly, it's a special thing of course. When you go around the city, you don't feel pits at all, everything is simple. Now you will see in the videos how we were trying GW on the bad roads. Please watch it yourselves. I think you are interested in vibrations. There is some vibrations from big wheels, there is six of them here, from cardans, there is three of them, everything is okay here. Wheel, discs, very many bolts, I was afraid that they won't be blanched, but all has been blanched, all is okay. There is a few weights here. In the previous videos you could see how we blend them at the tire fitting. There is a video which shows the minimum weights. We have finished with wheels. Car done. In the previous videos I told that as an experiment the front cardan was three crosses. Near that sensor differential there was a dick angle, bigger than uh, the rest ones. Between the middle and the back cardans, the first and the second cross have zero degrees. There are no any vibrations, it's impossible. The carbon itself is ideal because it's Volvo's cardan, that was on original axles. The middle axle and the center differential near the axle have zero degrees cross. Near the center differential there is minimal degree. There is no big angle there, no vibrations can be. The front cardan is near the gearbox, we turn it up. We have dubbed it up, turned it, there is zero degrees. There was an angle near center differential, a big one, we put a hinge there, it's called bug. I am very glad, I will go with the speed 140 km per hour, you will see there is no any vibrations. I am satisfied with the experiment. Now we will check the speedometer. We have some difference between the panel and GPS. There is some difference there, we will see after I drive quicker. 150 km per hour we'll see on GPS, so there is it exactly. I will show you the speed, we go 91 km per hour, earlier we had 17 km per hour. Fuel consumption was 15 liters. Now we are going 90 km per hour, fuel consumption is 16 liters, now we are going 100 km per hour. I feel like I drive a usual car. I don't feel anything I mustn't stain myself. Let's go faster. Now we have 120 km per hour, the car goes well. It seems to me it's crazier speed. Let's go faster. Now we have 115 km per hour, now we are speeding up. I think that's enough, because we have gears of the main exo in gearboxes. They are new, unrolled. I don't want to damage the car so. But you could see the car can run quickly and it's speeding up. But as far as I know, the original GW 6x6 is limited by electronics. So that it can go with more than 160 km per hour. 4x4 there is another situation, there is, are no limits. But 6x6 there is something that is limiting the speed. Dear friends, so I have shown you the highest speed which this car can have. We had 165 km per hour, but I don't think it's a restriction. 
Perhaps it can run faster, but you shouldn't do it. You shouldn't damage the axle so. Maybe you have a question, what is the cruiser speed for those axles? For such a car? I think it's 110-120 km per hour. You feel comfortable while driving it, because our cars are prepared. There are four wheels on the Dodge Ram in 2500 models, the original axles, the original suspension, we lifted the body from the chase is a little. I draw on 47 wheels, 110-120 km per hour, it run well. On 14 wheels it goes speed 19-100 km per hour, because I don't feel safe, I have a steer all the time. 14 wheels are rather dangerous, I like speed 120 km per hour, excellent. You will ask, probably, is it at good speed for such axles, constant 120 km per hour? Let's see, so Volvo La Plunder is an original car, has 100 km per hour on the speedometer. The plant made it so with such axles. But the wheels are 33, maybe 32. We have 37 wheels, rotation of gears is less here. Uh, on the road you can see uh, the big wheel rotates less than the small one. But we have done everything completely. There were main gears uh, in the axles here, where 7.6 stood, but three axles may be 7.1. The car don't rotate 7 times, the wheel rotates 1 time, we installed here 5.0. The car don't rotates 5 times, the wheels rotate 1. So in comparison uh, with the original Volvo, our axles makes much less turnovers. So, compare. The plant produces car with speed 100 km per hour. We make cars with speed 160 km per hour, with our rework. It seems to me that 120 is absolutely normal speed. It doesn't need the faults and it's convenient to drive the car. I am often asked about the documents. How can I execute such a remake? I don't know how it is executed in your country, but in Ukraine... I have executed everything according to the law. The portal axles played a great part in it. The fact that they are border and they are heavy equipment. I have installed them here and the fact they are original 6x6. I was able to inscribe all the sizes of the body into a technical certificate. As well as height, width, length, the type of the body pickup has been changed. The weight of the car is 3100 kilograms, or about so. It's good for category B as a passenger car, I fear so that we don't get category C. But the whole weight is 3.5 stones, everything is okay. I have inscribed the wheels, the size of the gauge, all the portal gears, 6x6 with the wheel formula. I have done everything I wanted. The fact that the portal gears are border played a great role while executing the documents, because I even don't know if uh, I can legalize wheels on the original axles if they are large. The original wheels are 32, but we have 37 ones. We have done it, everything is ok, I have a technical certificate, all is great. I will tell you what questions were asked in the institute. First of all, the brakes. The brakes are from GW completely. What are the springs like? I have given this information. I had test drives, not once at the laboratory. They tested the brakes, uh, aversion, some traction, the way how everything is, has been welded, I went through all this several times. 
the main gears are the same. I couldn't guess that I will be asked, uh, you installed big wheels but didn't change gear ration. Now we have 5.0. There is everything we need for big wheels. You also ask such a question, how can we make the project cheaper? Perhaps without Portal Exus so that is an inadequate 6x6. Let me tell you some words because I can make a video about it. It's only my opinion. Of course, if you want to know it, please write in the comments. I will make the video for you. How to leave the original Exos in order to install 37 wheels. You can do it in theory. You lift it with springs, leave the body from the chassis, pull up. But when you lift the body from the chassis, you get a big hole. It's very anesthetic. You lift it on springs, the portal exos will wriggle out. Casters, everything will break up, the angles of the garden will be large. There will be vibration, the angles of lever appear, and the car will be apparently unrolled on the road. If you go with speed 120 km per hour, it will be rotten, the effect of shiny. And the wall I don't approve. And of course you won't get a steering G-Wagon 6x6. I consider that is the cheapest and the right variant. To install such exos to follow our way, it's a very difficult way. But exos is the most complicated and expensive part in the project. You can follow another way, of course. You can put a board gearbox on the original exos, but in order to leave the car minimally, in order to install big wheels, to add uh, clearance, but you won't get a string G-Wagon 6x6. Many guys try to do something, but it's no success because they need displacement of gearboxes, two back gearboxes tend to posit one by one. And cardon, even if to change a transfer case in order to start up cardons. The middle gearbox hinders the back one. And the cardons are such like a snake. Vibrations, some articulations if you go out of road. And the cardons are simply broken out. I know it exactly, dear friends. There is no decision yet. Here in our case we have everything like the original plant's car. Off-road, no problem at all, you have seen already how we tested two G-Wagons on off-road, no problems. And the width of the original axles, if you don't install board gearboxes, is very small. Those portal axles which we have installed are 16cm wider than the original ones, in order to make track according to our fender's players. I think one have to put 20cm on every side of Space's wheels. But it's not a variant, don't you agree? This big space is damaged. You'll feel it on the road. But what if wheel bearing will be picked up? I don't advise it. And you will have probably to inscribe a track to the documents. What about the original axles? They are narrow, I don't know how to do it. The width of the axles is very important. And some words about the interior. About our rework and our plans. We plan to change the front dashboard in new style, 2015 fully. We have already changed the rubber, but also plan to install center console common from the new Janet wagon. But all this in the process. We have made the seats with the leather from Mercedes car, in the style of Brabus. Square. I like it very much. We have changed the cards from the new model, we have made inserts according. Two seats square. The back seats are from BV E66. Separated, electrical, they are plugged in fully, everything works well. Why did we take BMW? Because they look like the original G-Wagon. What is at the back? And there are two 63 seats and an armrest at the back. But we didn't want to put separated seats because the car is big. And there are four seats in the salon. In our case, if you need an armrest, you simply lift it and you have an extra seat. And it looks more beautiful when the armrest is loft. There is also a cup holder for coffee, tea in the seat. But also the plants one from G-Wagon was put on the battery. The mats were made in square, according to order. It's also very beautiful. There is a special lizard uh, that is not afraid of the sun, dirt and moisture. We also shifted the seats on 20cm back, but here we had serious problems. It looks nice, don't you agree? Back partition is according to the standard as the original GW. We have installed a backlight. I think you have noticed that the handles are stood visually out of interior. They are grey here. 
Everything here is black beautiful. We plan to paint them or to install from 63 model. We also have to remake the sun canopies, everything is in the process. And now I want to thank all our guys who took part in the building of this car. We have built a real masterpiece together. Mind that it was built not somewhere in America or Germany where the production of such cars will cost 1 million dollars. It is made in Ukraine. Let everybody know ours. Dear friends, I ask you to appreciate our car in the comments. Bye guys.